What's going on guys? Today we're bringing to you another Scum Beginner's Guide. Very excited to be here with you. Let's go ahead and get straight into this. I like to play PvP servers. Um, you can obviously play either one. Uh, and this build would be pretty great for you. But PvP focus. Today I'm doing a quad 3 build. Which is 3 strength, 3 constitution, 3 dexterity, 3 intelligence. Pick your body type that you like. I'm going to go with this guy. Pick some different tattoos this time. A little tribal action. Uh, obviously, you want to definitely have the uh, Mega Wang. Holy shit. And we're going to go ahead and hit next. So as far as this build goes, I always start with, uh, you know, advanced rifles will help me with uh, reloading faster. Recoil reduction is huge. Okay, and it also helps with sniper rifles too, with weapon sway, uh, scope sway. So definitely pick that. Um, and then advance running all the way because we want to be as fast as humanly possible to chase people down and or run from them. And it also helps level up a couple other skills a little bit faster, like your dexterity and strength and all that stuff. Because you're technically covering more ground quicker. So I would just go ahead with that. Uh, and then also, let's go with dexterity. I'm going to go with an advanced stealth because their new mechs scare the shit out of me. And I definitely want to be careful of them with the new flamethrower action. So... Uh, and as well as just other players hearing you, when you have a lot of gear on your character, the gear weight will affect how loud you are. So the higher your stealth skill, the more quiet you will be, which is a favorable outcome in all aspects. And then also we want to go with an advanced awareness because I want to be able to hear players a little bit better when I'm in focus mode, a little bit more noise cancellation on focus mode to hear those footsteps if they're around. Uh, it also helps with hunting a little bit more efficient with, you know, clues and stuff like that for the new hunting mechanics. And spotting items at a distance that are kind of highlighted for you a little bit so uh, you don't miss out on, you know, certain loot that you might have, you know, kind of glanced over a little too quickly. So we're going to go with this. Uh, that's the build. And uh, let's get it rolling here. By the way, if you're looking to create your own scum server or any other survival game type server, make sure you check out my promo for GG Host. Uh, you can get 50% off your first month using GG Host uh, with my link in the description and the promo code MikeAlpha at checkout. Uh, it will give you 50% off your first month. These guys have good quality customer service, so make sure you guys check that out. Get that savings at 50% off at checkout with my link below and the promo code MikeAlpha at checkout. All right, looks like we are somewhere near where I kind of want to be. I kind of want to go to the new POI in C0. Uh, so let's hope we're close. Holy shit. Yes, baby. We are close as a fuck. Let's go. All right. Let's orientate. My unmatched perspicacity. Now, I have no survival skill, so don't really have my map marker where I would normally have it. So kind of want to figure out where we're going to be, where we're flying in at. Let's go the other way, this way. Fly in, maybe that way, maybe a little this way, a little that way. I better hit my parachute, that's all I gotta say. Don't get stuck on top of a tree like I've done before. I'll tell you what, that is a not a fun experience getting stuck on top of one of them things. So, uh, we did not die, which is great. That is a plus. Go ahead and get a rock or two. And um, you can also get snowballs, which you can use for hydration nowadays, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm going to click two rocks, right click, and then I'm going to craft a stone knife for myself. Uh, in the winter zone, you're going to have trees and stuff nearby, so we're going to make ourselves an axe really quick. I basically just want to get a little kit together to help me out on my journey here. Take this knife, um, put it in my hands here, and we can also... Um, just to jumpstart our hydration, you can eat the snowball by right clicking and hitting eat prompt. And there you go. And there's a, looks like a wall over there. Uh, like the, uh, boundaries of the map there. I would build a great wall and nobody builds walls better than me, believe me. I'm gonna go ahead and right click eat this next snowball. And as you can see in the metabolism menu, uh, we are getting our stomachs filling up on water. We're getting some snowball action here. What did he say? Hey. Let's not say that. We're getting some hydration action from the snowball here. The next thing I always like to do when I'm starting out is I like to destroy my bank card. That way, you know, 
I just don't forget to do it later, but that will keep players from being able to steal your card if you had any actual um, money on there, which you don't when you're fresh spawn. But the point is, it's a great way to keep people from uh, stealing your, your money from your bank account. So we're going to go ahead and cut down this small tree, which is really nice. Um, in the winter zone, there is not really a, a ton of bushes around. So you want to try to get these little trees if you can. And then we're going to try to make an axe. That way we can cut down the mega trees over there. And as you can see, we're kind of a little slow with this because we don't have survival skill, but that will level up over time. Now with these Douglas firs, you're going to have to right click and chop it again. Um, and that will help us break this sucker down. As you do this, if you check the metabolism menu, you're going to start seeing um, under here, you're starting to get some XP from survival skill leveling up here. Uh, by doing these types of uh, actions like cutting trees down stuff like that and as well as crafting um, so you'll see now we're at three percent as you saw uh, which is pretty sweet next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and uh, I need to go back and get my rock pile actually so let me throw this knife in my pal and uh, well actually no I'm gonna leave it here let me go over to this rock pile again it pays to be convenient and have rock piles nearby your sticks or you can just click and you know, drag your stuff over, uh, put it on your, put it in your hands, take it where you need to go. But we're making a stone axe head by taking two stones again, right clicking, and then clicking that stone axe head prompt. All right, and we're gonna, I wanna put this in my hand, and then I'm gonna take this, throw it in here, bring it over, throw it down, and basically now we're gonna make some rope out of these big sticks here. Uh, so I'm actually going to cut these into small sticks again one more time and then I can use five small sticks to make some improvised rope and tie it to that big stick and then we are in business with a nicer melee weapon uh, and crafting tool so we're gonna click one two three four five and then we can right click and hit craft tree bark rope okay and the other method to do this would be essentially going to the crafting menu to find the, the blueprint for it as well. Um, which you can do, but if you play it, it's over here. Um, and you can see now it's yellow because we don't have all the necessary items uh, in our inventory at the moment or in our vicinity. So it's yellow now, but before as you can see it was gray. So if you have a gray item, it basically is saying this is craftable immediately for you. Um, but I prefer to do it the manual way because I get to choose exactly what I'm using versus letting the computer choose it for me, uh, which could sometimes be problematic a little bit, especially like if you had clean rags that you wanted to use, for example, for something, and it ended up using those for you instead of just using dirty rags. So now you don't have your clean rags to heal with, you know, stuff like that. Um, but let's go ahead and click this, click this, click this, right click, and now we craft stone axe. And I am on a PvP server, so at any minute, you know, if I'm not paying attention, I can get killed out here. But I'm doing this for you guys, and plus I like the thrill of PvP, so we'll always, uh, you know, try to bring the most excitement to the to the game here for you guys. So now we have it. We're going to put this in our, drag it over to our slot over here. And we basically can ditch this knife. I don't need it anymore. Or you could save it. Uh, I'm just going to keep it for now. But the next basic thing you would want to do is you'd want to, I'm going to take it in my hands. Basically, you don't need a t-shirt, so I would go ahead and cut this into, into rags. Our next craft that we want is a backpack uh, or satchel. So we're going to try to make this improvised courier backpack. You will need rope, a cutting tool, and three rags. All right, and we have two rags. So I'm going to go ahead and cut my Winky Warmer, that's like I like, what I like to call it here. Uh, and uh, we're going to cut that up. Not the, not, the, not the Winky, just the Warmer. Okay, and then we're going to have extra rags here. And then we're going to essentially make another rope out of some more sticks. So uh, we'll have to go get some more. There's another tree right here. Now that we have the nice axe, okay, now we can handle manhandle that big boy right there. So I'm going to take this in my hands, and now we're going to cut this mega tree down, which is way more efficient. I can do so much more crafting so much quicker, and that is what you want to do. 
We've chopped our tree down. First thing I want to do is grab this tree branch, take the tree in my hands, and we're going to run it back over here. Now I can process this tree. And also a quick trick is um, if you have the tree, you want to have the sticks fall a certain direction. You see where this curve is in the stick? That's where the the sticks are going to start lining out once we chop them up. So, and you can actually rotate this stuff. So if you come over here, you can hit tab and go to your uh, hand cursor. You can pick stuff up and move it and then use the mouse wheel to scroll to rotate things. So that is something you can do. I want my branch to go this way though. So let's go ahead and rotate, move that. We're going to chop it. All right, and now we've got our sticks a little bit scattered about. And once you've processed your tree, you'll see that you have long sticks here and then you've got little sticks here. So they were already chopped up for you, which is pretty nice. So what we can do is now one, two, three, four, five, right click, tree bark rope. Or let me show you the method in the actual menu, which is actually going to the crafting menu here and then clicking on this and then hitting craft. Whichever way you want to do it. But as you play, you'll get faster doing it manually if you remember the recipe. So I'd probably recommend that. So that is done. Now I've got some rags. So we can actually take these um, and use the rope. And we can now make a satchel out of this with our cutting tool. So if you select, if you do it manually though, um, you can't you can't prompt it unless you click on your cutting tool. So you see now there that it's there, or I can use the axe, whatever. But highlight your cutting tool, and then it will show you prompting to actually do it. Uh, you can also use rope out of these strips by making rag strip rope. So this will allow us to essentially have some more storage capacity on our journey over. We want to also see this. We are almost at 10% on the survival skill just by doing a little bit of crafting, a little bit of chopping. So it will level up quick and the ideal thing is to have basic survival if you're a new person because it will give you a compass marker when you hit focus mode like this. Uh, it'll kind of show it at the top of your HUD. Um, but it's not there for me because I don't have any. But if you play it long enough, it doesn't really matter too much. You'll, f you'll find your way. So now we're going to equip the backpack. And look at there. Now we have some more stuff. Um, and I'm going to take this rag in case I need it. Now the next thing you would want is a bow. So you're going to want to have um, a 20-pound you know, bow is fine. You'll need, again, more rope, a long stick. Um, so we have plenty of sticks here that we can make rope out of. So let's go ahead and cut these again. And then we're going to make ourselves a bow. And then I'm going to show you a lightning speed fast way to make arrows so you're not here all day long so you can get into the fight a little faster. And as you have a better survival skill, you will gain the ability to, to process um, resources more efficiently. So if I were to have chopped that long stick with a better survival skill, I would have eventually gotten uh, five sticks instead of just three at a time. I would have gotten five small sticks out of it. So just know that it does help with base building and engineering and all that good stuff also helps with efficiency of resources, which this is basically tied to uh, certain building material uh, crafts and stuff like that. So we've got more rope and what else do we need just to make this? We need, uh, we have everything. We got a rope, stick and a cutting tool. So we go ahead and hit craft and there you go. And then I'm going to make arrows lightning fast. All right. And now we put this on our back. Looking a little better, aren't we? And um, now what we want to do is we want to cut these into small sticks. Oh no, God. No, God, please. No, 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 no. A little bit more. A saw is really helpful. It's too bad we couldn't 
They couldn't make a crafting uh, recipe for like a, a rock saw or some kind of saw. That would have been, or like a craftable metal saw. Devs, if you're listening, make a craftable metal saw or craftable stone saw or bone saw or something like that. Uh, I think that'd be pretty awesome. So go ahead and chop these up. And then I'll show you my secret weapon here. So we come over to crafting menu. You hit wooden arrow, craft it one time, okay? One time. Now you can tab out of this, right? And then you can hit Alt and the C key. And then now it's going to auto craft the last blueprint we, we used. So look how fast this is going to be, guys. Look at this. Just keep spamming it until you get all these sticks used up. And sometimes it'll say action failed. That's okay. Just keep keep doing it. It'll work. Um, but this is making arrow crafting so nice. I'm telling you, man. Almost done. Look at all these arrows we're making in a circle. Look at that. Beautiful, huh? So now look at all these arrows. And you double click. Click them all really quick. And we got 11 arrows right there, and you can have 12 uh, as a stack, so I'll just make one more arrow uh, with my tool here. And then we'll have 12. All right, and then we can have one more, because I'm a greedy bastard about that. And then I can have a full stack of 12 with one more to have for my, to knock in my arrow here. So there we go, and see? Now, there we go. We have knocked it, okay? Bada boom, bada bing. So now we're ready, guys. We're gonna run. Um, and realistically, you could go really ridiculous with this. You could craft a um, improvised quiver, which I don't really want to do right now, but you could take five long sticks, three rags, and find some either rope or recraft with uh, improvised rope of rag rope or thread or tree bark rope. Any of these, and if you click through these, it'll tell you what you can use in place of an item. And realistically, that would give us more you know, storage capacity. Uh, but I don't want to make this a really long video. Too terribly long, so I'm not going to do that. But you guys are welcome to. In the meantime, we're going to hit M, and I want to find my direction. So I'm going to kind of look at the map and see. So I'm going, looks like... Uh... Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is your captain, Glenn Quagmire. Uh... We're looking about a four and a half hour flight time today. Uh, we got clear skies, good visibility. And we're moving in the right direction, I believe, now. So let's go ahead and scroll wheel to make yourself sprint much faster, okay? You'll see how much faster that is. Towards the old Duga weather, weather factory, I think. It's probably not called that, but I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> there, weather, yeah, there it is. The old Dugga over here. Little weather uh, station here. All right, now let me show you this. This is really nice that this is here. This is a hunting stand, all right? And we're going to hit F to climb. And this may have some goodies up here for us. Look at that. I see it. It's a holster. Hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Nice. Frick yeah, dude. All right, look at this shit, guys. Raincoat, equip it, give us more storage, a holster, boom, look at that, and some drink, man. Look at the bubbles, man. See, this was a great score. Great find right there. Man, this is a great place to get sniped, though, so just beware. But, uh, yeah, this is freaking sweet. We had a good start already. Now, I will tell you, um, and you can also do what I just did there and jump down by hitting spacebar once you kind of get like a little bit about halfway to just get down the ladder quicker. But you can't hurt yourself, so just do know that. Now, the other thing is for food out here, realistically, um, you could do these logs here and you could try to find some grasshoppers, which there is one right there. We can technically eat said grasshopper if we want, but it's going to start giving you food repulsion now uh, for grasshoppers, but it will go away a little quick. You know, it's not too bad, but if you eat too many, and especially if you eat the larva, you will start to get sick. So if you want a quick snack, eat with caution, and we have a zombie 
nearby over here. And this is a great thing to do. Is actually, oh, there's two. There's two of them. There's a lot of them, actually. I want to go ahead and try to take one out. Oh, shit. He's coming at me. Now, if they get too close, you can hit, punch them with the middle mouse button. So you can take another shot at them. Like I did there. A little spazio action sometimes can be a little hilarious, but... And look at this shit. They gave us a screwdriver. And always retrieve your arrows. Sometimes you'll, there's goodies on them. And you can also chop them up, believe it or not. And make skin and bone out of them and stuff. Um, to get... Whoops. To get like a satchel going for yourself. I shot that one in the ass. And I got a headshot there. So let's go ahead and grab this. And look at all these zombies out here, man. And what is this? An antiseptic rag. And it's very dirty. I might take it anyway, though. I'm gonna tell I'm gonna I'm gonna take all these guys out, honestly. Now we'll show you how to melee. If you want the melee option, you go in, you back up, you go in, you back up, in, back out. Whoops, I missed. Back up. Always back up after you swing. It takes quite a man, quite a many uh, hits though. There's more. Oh, there's another one. Damn, man. A lot of y'all today. Yeah, and there's some boots. I'm just going to use my arrows, though. The thinner ones take a couple hits, whereas the bigger ones take way more hits. Retrieve, retrieve, retrieve. Anyway, I don't want to kill a bunch of zombies. I want to get over here to this station here, a silo here. The words are... I'm, I'm forgetting what they're called. It's the it's the Dugga radar station or... You guys can make fun of me in the comments. It's fine. There's a lot of Z's coming at me, though. I don't want to deal with all of them because I want to keep going here. But you see the point is you start getting goodies from them. And then it also helps level up your stats for... for Bow stats, melee, all that stuff. So this, um, strength, I'm already at 14% up on my archery. Nothing yet on melee for the one kill, but you see that? Pretty sweet. Now, there is a cargo drop up here, which could be very interesting, guys. Hmm. Damn. Damn. Ah, uh, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. They're really risky. But for for thirst, though, we can drink this water um, because this is clean water. Because it's dark blue lake water is what I would call it, I guess. It's dark blue. This is ocean water. You can't drink this. If you get these ri like this little rivers here and this lake water, you can drink this stuff. Um... God almighty, guys. I'm being tempted. What do I do? What do I do, guys? Do I go for it? Do I do it? I might do it, guys. Alright, which way do we go? I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm going to the fucking cargo drop. If we die, we'll come back to C0 next time, okay? We'll come back to the radar thing. What the fuck? Oh. Animal. Animal wants me to hunt him. I'm not doing it, though. I'm not doing it. Not doing it, guys. But this is too close to pass up. And I'm probably... I'm just going to go ahead and just tell you guys I'm probably going to die. Okay? Most people like to get these who are already geared up. And sometimes they get there with a car way faster than you'll ever get there on foot. They're waiting for you. They're going to snipe you. But we're doing this. We're doing this for entertainment, okay? and educational purposes. 
So make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and turn on those notifications if you want to see more content from me here. And if any of it's been beneficial to you, feel free to leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you guys. Appreciate you guys. All right, and then another thing is you need to manage your stamina. My guy's getting really tired. So I'm going to hide behind this tree. Um, realistically, you want to hit uh, crouch, which would be your C key. I've actually rebound it uh, to my mouse button, but that will recover your stamina a little bit quicker. Never want to go into a fight or be ambushed by animals or players without enough stamina. Should eventually see it. Yep, there's a smoke. So follow the smoke. And that will be where we are headed. All right, guys, I think shit's going to get real. All right, let me recover my stamina a little bit more. And if you uh, if you lay down, you'll recover even more by holding tab, hitting actions, and then doing the lay down action here with your tab. Um, but I don't want to do that because I want to be quick as fuck trying to get out of here. And I feel like we just did a big circle, but... Alright, alright. Dude. Alright, let's do it. Probably somebody there. Let's, let's do it, though. What's the back of it? Here we go! Let's get our arrows out. Fuck. Well, let's see what's going on in here. I always shut the door behind you. But uh, I don't have anything to get this out. So it's pretty useless. If I had a lock pick, I could open this shit. But I have a screwdriver. Uh, no crowbar or anything. Damn. Well, 18 minutes and 25 seconds before it uh, blows up. And it should unlock realistically. Um, about a minute or so before it blows up. But I'm going to go to this uh, hunting stand over here real fast. And that would be a great place to camp to snipe someone. So, you can set your watch for it. Too bad I couldn't get in it, guys, for you guys, but oh well. I'm not waiting around 18 minutes. Not in this one. But yeah, I think this is literally where we started, guys. And it must have just... It, yeah, it just must have fell right around here. That's hilarious. Alright, well. Maybe we can get over to our normal destination. And I can show you guys what's what with that. Now, realistically, we could swim across this thing, but I don't want to do that. It's it's not worth it. You get your character all freaking wet and cold. And also, if you do um, want to learn how to auto run, if you press W and then shift, uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. If you hold those keys and release, um, shift will should stick, hopefully, and then you'll be able to auto run. I don't typically like doing it though because it gets me too comfortable and then I've been jumped before because of it where I there was a guy laying in a bush and I should have saw him but I didn't see him quick enough and I was auto running in La La Land so so I know we did a little backtrack for that but I just was I was hoping maybe it, it would have been closer to time for it to open you can't Always get what you want. Now, usually if I'm at 60% stamina, I definitely like to go ahead and rest. So, I'm going to rest over here. And if you lay down in the snow, you're going to get all wet. So, if you, you'll also want to keep in mind about your wetness level. You can check that by your clothing. Little, There's a droplet here. So, like you can see... Our blue droplet here is showing we're wet in our feet. The gray means we're not wet anywhere else. 
at the moment. We're gonna cross this bridge. Hopefully safely. Run a little zigzag pattern if you like. And then you can see it says I'm feeling warm. 36.6 uh, is basically the perfect temperature you want to stay at. Keeps your guy from sweating. And then your vision's kind of starting to get impaired. Uh, you'll get droplets of sweat on your HUD up at the top if you're in first person. All right, let's... Let's see what we got here. Man, that was quite a quite a bit of a run. And we are getting hungry. We're below 50% on our food, so the highlight came up on the on the tummy there. We'll hopefully find some food, guys, or we might be going hunting. Or you can keep loading up on grasshoppers, but if you find Plants in the wild, mushrooms, olives. And if you hold alt and you swivel your mouse around, you can look behind you and stuff. I definitely do that from time to time. Definitely want to kind of see if anyone's following you. Man, this thing is big as hell. I'm actually surprised I'm not dropping mega frames right now. Holy shit. Holy shit. That's a hell of a screenshot right there. And look at all that. Dude. That looks sweet. So guys, we made it here to the Dugga weather station. And we're going to come back in the next episode. And we're going to explore this some bitch. And uh, let's have some fun with it. About 96% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel. So I certainly would appreciate it. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and turn on notifications. So you can see my next video when it drops. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one, and remember, be alpha.